Dowthit with Driving Sports TV. We are here taking a look at Dirt 2, and look who we have with us. We have Matt, what is your position again? I'm a, a chief game designer at Codemasters, and that, yeah, gone. <laughs> and apparently I am driving it just like I really drive because uh, I've already rolled. And we are taking a look at Dirt 2, which is, of course, the ongoing legendary rally game, which started way back with Colin McRae Rally Series, right? Yep. Uh, Colin McRae, uh, we made five versions of those games on uh, PlayStation and uh, PlayStation 2. And in 2007, we came back with uh, Colin McRae Dirt. Uh, and now, for September the 8th, we're coming back with uh, Dirt 2. <laughs> Okay, now what are the major changes between the first version of Dirt and now Dirt 2? Sure, uh, well Dirt 1 was very much an authentic representation of what off-road racing was in 2006-2007. The main changes of Dirt 2, uh, just like in real off-road racing, is that this is very much an extreme sports vibe. So Dirt 2 is now more about uh, living the lifestyle of an extreme sports racing driver. So that's the, the main thing. But we've also gone full out on uh, online as well, we've got huge online features. <laughs> As we saw in the uh, in when we played the game briefly, there was there was an RV where you get to keep all these tchotchkes from all around the world, right? How integral is that into the gameplay? Uh, it's, it's massive, really, because the RV will increase the escapism of the game. We feel like you are really on tour. You know, we're competing against Ken Block and Travis. So after a race, you go back to your RV. It's set in the location you just raced in. You select on your map. You go, right, I'm going to go to London, and then you basically travel with your RV to London. So it's always with you. So it's very much your home away from home. Okay. Now let's change gears and go into the details of the game. Now, Subaru obviously is a huge deal in this game because you're working with Ken, with Travis, with Dave Mira, the Subaru Rally Team USA. Um, how did you get all of the finite details? Did you go out and model the original cars, or did you just take it based on feedback from the drivers? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. A uh, bit of both. Uh, we, we sent photographers uh, to, to the Subaru team, and they helped us out as well, sending us imagery. Uh, we took thousands of, uh, of photographs of the car, and we sent an illustrator as well to make sure the, the detail when we actually create the cars because now in Dirt 2 we've got twice as many polys we've got more detail for those vehicles so we can really uh, make the vehicles as true to life as possible and people like Ken Block as well uh, they've actually helped us on the handling in the cars as well so we've spoken to the engineers to make sure that you know the Subaru that you drive in the game is as real as possible to that that you know they do in real life. So then what kind of a change is when you first got like say your first development build done and then you brought Ken in to uh, give it a give it a try. What kind of input did he get that it went into the to change uh, like the final version of the game? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, basically, when when uh, Kem first was playing the game, uh, the cars were almost uh, a bit too. They didn't have enough grip, basically, because in in Dirt One, we, the cars had too much grip. So we got to try and change that for Dirt Two and get them so the cars would power slow around the corners and uh, so the car would actually pull you around the corner. But um, when Kem played, he sort of said there was there was the the speed of the cars when going sideways. It wasn't scrubbing uh, enough speed off the, the vehicles so we changed that and then he came back you know three months later and played the new model and then he was like wow this is this is this is far better now this is currently I'm doing the Rallycross X Games style course so I have no co-driver although they have a number of different co-drivers that can uh, talk to you on the game oh man I'm just sucking here this is not good from first to last so quickly just like the real thing <laughs> spin and then for like real car guys, we don't like to do everything all automatic in the game. We like to have manual options. What level of control, how, uh, how minute can we make changes to the vehicles, and uh, what kind of options do we have? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, basically, the vehicle setup options in the game, we have, uh, you can change the gear ratios. You can have short, long gear ratios. Uh, ride height, there's suspension settings, there's dump settings as well. Uh, you can have manual gears, of course. And if you've got a steering wheel, we support uh, lots of different steering wheels in the game. And there's clutch support as well, so you can do proper gearing. And then so you could actually legitimately do uh, left foot braking around corners too? Yes, if you've if you got the, the right wheel, even uh, on the, the Microsoft wheel or, uh, or if you're on the PlayStation, you've got the Logitech wheels, yeah, you can do left foot braking. Okay. Have you personally done any rally driving to be able to compare the differences uh, in like, you know, from the simulation to the real world? Yeah, sure. I mean, I've done a few things because uh, I've worked on Dirt 1 and we've worked on Grid and Dirt 2, so I've been quite lucky. Uh, I went to Scotland and uh, Colin McRae, you know, we were driving in his Ford Escort, so he, he taught me how to do stuff properly. And then uh, we went to a racetrack called it in Donington in, in England, and we did some uh, rally driving there with uh, Mitsubishi Evo. So, and we've done lots of other driving stuff on tarmac as well, So, because you need to be able to, you know, know how it feels otherwise you know you, you don't you can't a normal car isn't good enough you have to be able to do rallies and then be able to put that into the game right. 
And then going back to the original Colin McRae series games, you know, back on the original PlayStation 1, damage was a huge deal in those games because at the time nobody was doing damage in game. So what kind of level of damage do you have in here and how can the user control that part of the experience? Yeah, sure. Uh, damage is uh, one of our sort of fortes. We, you know, we love damage. We love smashing up the cars because, you know, the guys they spend uh, each car takes about three months to build in the game, uh, and then we go smash it up, which is, is brilliant. But the cars, because they've got twice as many polys and, and vertices now, so it means that if you do slam it into a wall, you know, the panels will all break. You know, if the bumper comes off, you can then see the detail underneath. If you somehow manage to do a roll and like uh, your spoiler can break and snap off, you know, that you can the bonnet can fall off, the window wipers can fall off. So we've got a lot of it attention and detail to make sure that you know, the, the cars uh, basically do get damaged very realistically. But the players you know, uh, can either have damage on or off, so you can have it visual damage only if you want. So you can smash it up and see all the cool effects, but your performance is still the same. But the sim guys, the hardcore guys, they can make it full damage. So one little mistake and you're, you, know, you can rip your wheel off and you're out of the race. Now, um a lot of games don't go so far as doing aerodynamics having any effect on the actual car. Does Dirt 2 finally take us to that world? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, we, if you if you lose your spoiler, you, you will lose downforce, and so you know it, it does really affect your car. So if you're driving, if you lose your spoiler and you go into a corner and you break, or you'll be having too much speed and you won't be able to take it take the corner. So yeah, aerodynamics do affect the car. Even if you blow out the window, the front screen, you know, you you'll have more drag now because your windscreen's gone. So. Um, and then what kind of cars do you drive in the real world? Oh, well, I've, uh, I've got a little Mazda uh, uh, MX-5, um, and I like, you know, like to have the top down, but I don't really have that much opportunity in, in the UK. But the whole development team, if you come to the UK, our, our car our car park's fantastic. There's, you know, there's loads of Subarus, there's all tuned up Evo 9s, there's, um, there's loads of uh, you know, M3 uh, BMWs. Uh, we've got loads of crazy cars, so uh, I think we're, a lot of us uh, have got a lot of speeding tickets, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, and final question, what is on your personal wish list for Dirt 3? Ooh, Dirt 3, that's a, that's a hard one. Uh, I probably, uh, for Dirt 3, I'd like to bring back some, maybe some more of the classic cars. I mean, uh, I was a big Fiat uh, Arbar fan, and I was lucky enough to put that in uh, Dirt 1, but for Dirt 2, oh, I'd like to put some more of the classic cars. And, of course, our fan base keeps screaming for snow, so maybe snow might appear as well. I seem to do better. I seem to do better when I actually have other cars uh, next to me. Now I am so far back, this is just painful. I could get pretty good at this after a few tries, though, I think. Anyway, this is uh, Dirt 2. We're currently playing it on the Xbox 360, and it will be out in September. With Driving Sports TV, this is Ryan Douthit. Ah!